Hey guys, I'm Mike, licensed professional engineer and owner of Spec 13 Motorsports, and today I'd like to take a couple of minutes to talk to you about our new Hayabusa swap kit for NA, NB Miata, and Exoset. Um, yes, we will be exploring different platforms in the future, so drop a suggestion below in the comments. That would probably spark a pretty interesting conversation. Um, anyway, I've got the two test mules behind me here, so I'll just walk you through those. This is our Miata test mule. It's a 91 NA. Um, the first thing that we had to figure out were the engine mounts. And believe it or not, the packaging was actually pretty challenging on this project. You'd think, you know, it's a very small engine, which it is, um, but it's also very tall and very wide. The transmission sits next to it, so it barely fits in between the uh, stock Miata engine mounts. Um, but after several iterations, we got the motor in an optimal place, both for performance, um, you know, and for packaging, ease of maintenance, that sort of thing. Uh, the hardest part was actually the headers, which we haven't built the prototype of them yet. Well, we built several prototypes, but this is actually a good prototype. <laughs> this will be um, fully equal length long tube, header, long tube headers. Um, I know a lot of people like the, rub, the rumble sound of the uh, unequal length headers, but due to the fact that uh, this project requires much longer exhaust lengths than the motorcycle was intended to, um, you know, we need to take every opportunity we can to increase flow. Um, <clears throat> and equal length headers just flow better than unequal length headers, pretty much everywhere. Not, not low end, but mid range and top end, they will absolutely flow better. Um, probably the easiest aspect of this project, which some of you, this is actually a frequently asked question, is the drive shaft coupling. You can get these sprocket to drive shaft converters right here um, online. It's already an off-the-shelf thing. So we're just going to be working out a deal with a company that provides them, um, you know, to get them for you guys at a, at a better better price point. This is the factory intake. As you can see, it sits pretty high. It's a little Mad Max looking. You would have to cut your hood if you go for this option, but it's the cheapest, um, you know, and, and obviously the simplest. Um, it doesn't obstruct your view at all. It just, as I said, looks a little bit, you know, Mad Max-ish. The next option, which will be available immediately, get out of here, will be for NA models. This, uh, these intake runners were designed by Rocco at RC3 Engineering, and they will just couple, if I can get that to stay, it's not really gonna stay. That will just couple with an ITG filter and sit roughly about there. Um, in the future, we will be developing a turbo option, which will implement this gorgeous intake manifold designed by Again, RC3 Engineering. Um, we haven't developed the exhaust manifold yet, um, so that's going to be a little bit. Uh, but actually, I think that the hot setup for this is going to be a stroker kit, a 1500 stroker, like the Radical Esther SR3 has. Um, just simpler, about the same price. Um, you know, more torque, generally pro uh, more reliable. But uh, yeah, it doesn't make like the spinny whoosh sound, so there's that. Um, reverse. So right now, reverse would be an option. Some of you guys may want, opt to uh, just Flintstone your cars in reverse when you hear the price of this thing. But this is a one-to-one -one reverse gearbox made by a company in England. They're the only ones that make a gearbox suitable for the amount of power that we're going to be putting down. So this guy, my cost, is $1,400. Yeah, that's kind of ouch. But it is kind of cool because you'll have six reverse gears. We're also working on our own low buck reverse option in-house that'll most likely employ some sort of electric motor coupled to the drive shaft or differential in some way. Um, so shifting. Shifting will be an option. You can opt either for a manual lever push-pull type shifter. Um, it still will utilize the sequential aspect of the transmission. You'll just need to use the clutch for everything unless you're really experienced with motorcycles and know how to do clutchless shifting, which is possible with, with the manual. Um, 
But what I think is really slick is this guy here. This is the our electronic solenoid that will be coupled with a kill module. Um, that would allow anyone to do clutchless upshifts. It's truly amazing. They're actually pretty smooth, too. Um, you have an ability to tune the timing on the kill module to get it you know, paired to, to your bike's characteristics um, you know, to make that as smooth as possible. Um, so, oh, while I'm over here, actually, these are going to be the kit components for the base kit. The engine mounts, headers, drive shaft, drive shaft flange, the oil cooler delete fittings. Actually, we did a lot of testing with the oil cooler on, and, you know, we always ran with it blocked off. Um, it, it never quite got up to correct operating temperature with the oil cooler functioning. So that will be, if you want to run turbo, yes, I would recommend the oil cooler. Otherwise, it doesn't really appear to be, um, you know, of, of any use. Actually, it seems to be a hindrance. The oil just literally cannot get up to temperature. Um, the clutch line, the clutch slave cylinder mount, the shifter solenoid mount, which we just, you know, we just took a look at, and a lower rad hose, which will need to be an oval tube. So that leads me to pricing. I made a post about this last week, but for those of you that didn't see, the first run of 10 kits are going to be priced at $3,800, which you can see is an incredible value by the amount of components that you get. Um, so that's all I've got for now. If you have any specific questions, you know, feel free to drop those in the comments. Um, otherwise, like and share, and uh, the pre-orders link will be live on the website either today or tomorrow, and I'll make a post when that's live. But uh, otherwise, thanks for watching.